Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Chef Life, a restaurant simulator. I'm Nimbles and thank you so much for joining me here today. So technically we're still on day nine. I'd completely forgot they have this new uh, option at the end of service where you can stay late and learn and perfect new recipes. So I'm going to try it for the first time. This hasn't been in the game when I've played it previously. Um, so it's called free practice, um, practice after the evening service. By choosing to stay after evening service, you get free time to practice your recipes with no restrictions. It's ideal for learning recipes at this time of day. You don't have to worry about managing the restaurant. Your storeroom is locked and the day's menu can be freely edited without consequences. Use this time to perfect your techniques, learn new recipes and create new plans. You can also use this free time to access the labo uh, <laughs> you can also use this free time to access the laboratory this is a hard word for scottish people say laboratory station free dlc to download i think i've done that um, and at this station you can use all the knowledge you've acquired to create your own custom recipes to leave the after service practice mode head to the restaurant door if you interact with the door you'll automatically skip to the next day sweet so let's see what this is all about. Can I unlock any more recipes? Oh my goodness. I can unlock lots of new recipes. Oh, this is the one. Fennel and fried bell peppers. So we can, yeah, we can unlock this for uh, Kazim. So, whoa, let's see. We've got beef and potatoes to upgrade. Pasta for Italian cheese to upgrade. Summer soup to upgrade. Just, yeah, I need to go and take them off the menu though. So, remove, remove. Yeah, okay. I got it. And what was the other one? Was it the pasta? Should we put something else on? Okay, we can come back and unlock that in a minute. So we can upgrade the soup now. Lovely. Upgrade the beef and potatoes. So it'll give us a fancier recipe. Always come out of this. So let's learn this. And should we learn the soup as well? Where did it go? Oh, here's summer soup. And learn this for Kazim. So this will probably be the whole episode today i think just learning some of these new recipes um anything else i want to learn i think that might be it for just now let's see if we can so it's the only thing that's added to this recipe is a bottle of wine not a bad addition that's for sure um and then beef beautiful step one dice the onions and f uh chip the, the potatoes yep and then let's get the fryer on just nope not that one get the fryer on just in preparation and then we need a hot pan that is a saucepan a hot frying pan just wait for it to heat up here we go Let's get it started and we need to add the wine. I think I left that too long. Yeah, so let's get the wine added. Give it a stir. Oh, this is going to be pretty quick. I think that'll be it. Okay, grab that and it's a hot thing, so we'll need to get it under the heat lamps. Oh, wrong one. Then it wants us to make the fries. But what about the steak? Steak's in a cold pan. Beef steak, yep, that's the one. And then let's put this back in the fridge. Get the fries on. I think after this we'll take a quick look at the the new uh, recipe thing where you can create your own. Um, 
Let's get this seasoned. A lot of salt, a lot of pepper. Perfect, of course. Let's get the heat up. And we can flip it now. That's where fries ready. Quick as you like. Bosch. And we will take our steak now because rare steak is the only way to eat steak. Fight me. <laughs> and we're not going to change the plating. I think if they ask me to change the plating in challenges, I will. Um, but for the sake of aesthetics, I will leave it be unless forced to change. Right, so that's the new one. They don't have any requests there. That's the new recipe learnt. This is so much handy because it was such a struggle when I used to play it before trying to learn new recipes while you had so much prep work to do, especially before your chefs were levelled up because you will get another chef and things. Um, you get, I think, three chefs all together. Um, but it was so hard to try and do it before they were there. Um, so this is just this just makes the game a lot easier, a lot more fun as well. So the laboratory. Oh, this is interesting. You now have access to lab usage and free practice. Okay. This is where you can select the dish concept. This is where you can select dish concept sheets to use to create your own recipes. Okay. New dish concept sheets are unlocked based on your chef's level and the badges you own. You can create new recipe from a dish concept sheet using knowledge points. Note that you can only create a limited number of new recipes per dish concept concept sheet wow if you no longer like a certain created recipe you can remove it from your recipe book via its dedicated page okay so how many i've only got one knowledge point so i'm not sure i can even do anything right now develop a recipe around a piece of meat and accompaniments it only costs one or around vegetables okay and i can't or you can do it around fish well i'm a meat kind of girl so Sure. Select like the core element of your recipe. From the screen, you can choose several items to use for a brand new recipe. You make these choices step by step, starting with the core element of the recipe and then add in sides. Note that the prepared, the prepped food items that can be prepared here are already accessible because they come from recipes you've already unlocked. Learn new recipes at the research table to unlock more recipe creation options in the lab. The complexity of a recipe is represented by a gauge. Uh, for a new created recipe, it would be valid you need to add the appropriate number of prep food items to match the prestige of the recipe. Um, sure, so do we want veal? Well, steak, obviously. Yep. Add sides. With pesto, that sounds good. Yeah, steak with pesto. Pest on green beans, no. Remove, yeah. Yeah. And bread. Add your chef's touch. Hmm. I think some cherry tomatoes. Yeah, I think that would be good. Yeah, finalise. You're about to create a new recipe. Please give it a name. Steak. And pesto. Confirm. Oh, how exciting. And we get to plate it too. Right, black plate always. We don't want one of them. How do we want the steak to look? Oh, that looks pretty. Yeah, we want that. Place. I think that's, yeah, with enough, right? So the pesto. We can maybe angle it here. And then spin, spin, spin. Do a bit there. My beautiful plain skills. That's enough, right? And then we can go down, add some bread. Hmm. 
So we can maybe add the bread here, right? And then do a couple of these little bits kind of here. And then maybe one, two, three, like that. Yeah, that looks good, right? <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, you got all the different colors. Oh, that's adorable. It's a little love heart. Is that it? Okay, well, I need to have a love heart cherry tomato. You're insane. Nope. How do I cancel that step? Right, cancel that. And then we can maybe put one. <laughs> It was going so well, but I couldn't. I couldn't say no. I couldn't say no to a love heart cherry tomato. I'm a savage, right? It's ugly again. <laughs> let's get some. Yeah, let's let's just beautiful. Look at her. She does a little made a new recipe dance. <laughs> Your new recipe is available in the recipe book. Oh. Pen drop, my queen. <laughs> oh my goodness, right? Well, we need to learn it. Like, Jesus. Why is there no photo? Still learning. Okay, well, we're ready to learn it right now. Yeah, yeah, okay. I want to learn my own one first, thanks. <laughs> and. And then we need our steak. This is fun. Like, my plating will forever be the most hideous of creations, but it's so cool that you can make your own recipes now. Like, a huge fan. Um, we, what's the first step? So we got to slice the bread. Okay. Slice, slice, slice. Watch them fingers. Right, make croutons. I can do that. Get the heat up. And you've got to flip them as well. Right, get them flipped. Gorgeous. After that, we need to make the pesto, so we can do that while we're waiting on that finishing. Nice, nice, nice. And then you got to make the beef steak, which we've done. And then you got to make cooked steak. Right, croutons are done. Okay, so we need to season. Not enough salt, a lot of pepper. Still more pepper. Perfect, we'll pop the heat up. Get this done as quick as possible. Flip the steak. Gorgeous. Let's grab the pesto while we're here. Lovely jubbly. That means I can make pesto for both the Capri salad and this steak at the same time. So, yeah, gorgeous. Very impressed. Look at it. <laughs> Bloody eyesore. <laughs> You've now learned the recipe for steak and pesto. Thank you very much. Let's make the new soup. Okay, you can go here. Um, from here and then from here. That's an easy one. So slice the bread and celery. Slice of the bread. And celery slivers. This is um. Oh no, that's for Kazim's one. As I say, this is for Kazim, but it's not. So we got to make blended tomatoes and bread. Got to season it too, so it's missing a lot of basil. Let's pop two in. And another one, shocker. Right, great stuff. After that, then we need to get a tray out. And then what comes after that, then it's got to go in there. And we've got to make mint oil.
So we'll get the mint oil started. Okay, and let's get the tray in the fridge. Just mint oil and then that's it for it, really. Right, do we have another little recipe to learn? Yeah, this one. Okay. So we'll just do this while we're waiting. Um, so it's all veg, really. And then the fish. So make a filet of so, easy peasy. Head off, scales off, take the backbone out and flee. Gorgeous. Right, make uncooked sole rolle. Roll it up. Thank you much, Lee. Fennel slivers, red bell peppers. So, fennel. And then what was the last one? Hmm. Is that garlic, I think, right? It's hard to see. Sometimes the onion and the garlic look similar, but... Since we don't have onion, then it must be garlic, chopped garlic, yeah. Okay. Is that the soup ready now? Oh, you only get one soup for a whole tray. That's crazy. Right, let's just make that so we've got another little, another recipe learned. Look at it, just lovely. You've learned the recipe for cold tomato, mint oil and celery soup. Well, thank you. Quite impressed, you know. So, we need to do this. Let's just get rid of the soup so I don't confuse myself. And then we can add seasoning. A lot of basil. Still more basil. Perfect. And then we need to add the chilli and the red bell peppers. Give it a stir. And we also need to do these. So let's just get them cooking as well. You can go in there. And get the heat up. Give it a stir. Do we need to season it? Nope, just flip it in a second. Now we need to add these in. You ready to flip yet? Now you can flip. So I want this on the menu tomorrow so that Kazim can start, come on, so that Kazim can start um, leveling up and we can start getting them cooking a few more things in the kitchen. Everybody looking good. This one's a fairly easy recipe as well, which is good. That's what we like. Do I need to stir again? Nope. Okay, let's just put this under the heat lamp until the actual sole is ready. Okay, waste of time. <laughs> right. One and two. Also, another beautiful recipe. Done. Thank you very much. Okay, let me just wash these up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I think we're going to learn one more recipe um, and then that'll be it for today's episode. Um, I think we're going to do the beef. Oh no, because I, I don't have a thing for that yet. Okay, I think we're going to do the, oh, the blanket de veau. Blanket de veau. Yeah, okay, we're going to do that lot of ingredients and I know it's like a stock to start right so let's just get a pan with water going first right so we can do these and all of these I think that's everything vegetable bouillon so let's start your seasoning a lot of salt not enough pepper more salt. That's perfect. Well, thank you. 
Now we can add that and then on the second part we just need to cover it. Fair enough. Let's make a lemon juice. And blanket sauce. We just need to wait for the lemon juice. Fair enough. Carrot slices, sliced onions and sliced mushrooms. Sliced onions. Beautiful. And sliced white mushrooms. One, two, three. Next, cubes of veal. Let's get this big chunk of meat over here. Looks great. So when you've got, we can do the veal, veal and veal scallops, escalades, whatever they're called, um, and the veal stew together. And then that would waste less meat in theory. So we'll also need another pot for this next stage. But I think we need to wait for the stock to be ready. So what is at the end? Could we get away with that? I don't think so. Okay, so I'll just wait here a minute and then um, we'll get on to the second step. Okay, I think we can get this one started here now, because um, this stock is finally nearly done. It takes a long time. We we'll only need one, but I think you get four, four out of it. So now we can add in the wine and the stock. Let's just get rid of this stuff just now. Okay, we're just about there with the blanket de veau. This one takes a long time. Um, luckily, you can prep this beforehand and have it like on the warmers for service. And I think you get like four portions. Yeah, you get four portions. Um, but yeah, it does take a long time, like a ridiculously long time. Um, but it's quite popular. So we will we'll have it on the menu. We can just have a pot of it on the warmer. Um, yeah, so that'll be fine with me. Yeah, another recipe learned. So that's four new recipes learned this evening. Um, great addition to the game, having um, the kitchen open in the evening so you can practice. Um, it'll just let you get so much further further ahead um, without the stress. <laughs> the game's like service is stressful enough. You don't need to be worrying about um, making recipes during uh, the morning prep as well. That's going to be it for the end of day nine. And um, we've learned four new recipes. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I've had a lot of fun, uh, a lot of fun with this new addition to the game. Um, but yeah, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye for now. Thank you.